Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Our next guest says he has always thought it was possible to live a great life and now shares how to do it simply. In his new book, we welcome the author of The Abundance of Less, Lessons in Simple Living from Rural Japan. Andy Coutier is with us. Welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, rural Japan. Yes. So you live there? I lived in rural Japan for four years, yes. Why? why? Uh, well, we went over there originally just to teach English. We were trying to save some money to oh, come yes. back and actually buy some property here, which mm -hmm. we did, my partner and I. Congratulations. Thank you. But we <laughs> met these amazing people just by total happenstance who were living in these old farmhouses in this beautiful place, and they were living with almost no money, but they had all this time, and they had all this satisfaction in their lives mm -hmm. that you wouldn't expect um, because you know Japan is a very hyper busy country right, and people right. are very oriented around status in general and uh, sure. making money and here were these people some of them living on even with a family like three thousand five hundred dollars a year and yet they had all of this time to pursue their art to pursue uh, their spiritual life mm -hmm. to contemplate to spend time raising their kids both the women and the men so in Japan fathers obviously often don't uh, have time for um, spending time with their kids. Sure. And so I also interviewed some of the kids as they grew up, what was their experience of, of growing up this way. So um, I felt like they may know something that we <laughs> could really benefit from here in the United States. And so that's how I started on this project of writing The Abundance of Less. So there you are. Yes. Teaching English. Yeah. And you discover this this sort of um, experience you have this experience yes. is what I'm assuming like you get there mm -hmm. and you're like wait a minute so how far into your living there for four years did you realize hey I, I think I want to tell people about this well pretty much as soon as I met them but wow. you know um, it took a long time actually the first sentence in this book was written 27 years ago so I what? have really been working on it for a long which is one of the messages of the book is take your time go slow and you'll make something of, of quality and uh, huh. I mean, I'm just trying to picture that. That's a that's a long journey. I've written other books in yeah. the in the, in <laughs> in the, the meantime. meantime. Okay, and okay. done many other things with my <laughs> life, but yeah. So tell us about the rural Japanese people. What is it? What is their secret? Is there just one? Well, um, I should say that you know, rural Japanese people in general um, have a rural life. But the particular people I met had often come to the rural areas. Not all of them from urban backgrounds. So to me, the way that um, you know, you might hear a native. American elder or, or Tibetan uh, person give us advice, but we didn't really grow up that way. Right. But here were these people, one woman was a daughter of a doctor, another person was a petroleum engineer, and they realized, you know, we're only alive for so long, mm -hmm. and what is it we're here for? To really ask that question deeply, not just right. as a like college class, but to really think, what do I want to do with my life? And so uh, many of them um, are, are writers, some of them are um, craftspeople, mm -hmm. uh, some of them just enjoy their daily life, some of them have a very active uh, anti-nuclear um, community activism, which is a big problem, as you may know, in Japan, trying to make their communities better, some right. of them are active around education, but the um, the key thing is is that they've actually slowed down, reduced their desires, or clinging mm -hmm. in ways that maybe we aren't even necessarily aware that we're doing because it's this subliminal like I need more, I need more, I need more right. in order to have abundance. But maybe that's actually not the key, the way that's that we're way actually to gonna it. be happy. Huh? Okay. So so some of these people then have made a choice. Yes. So how do you suggest some of us because somebody's watching and they're thinking right. you know what i am tired yes i am overwhelmed i'm that, overburdened this book right? is for that person do you share in your book then about how you can sort of make these which what do you call them subliminal changes yeah well i do i mean the first thing i'll recommend to everyone is, is could you schedule something maybe in the next three months where you could have a day or even two days to really think about how did your life get set up how have you let it get set up how does society set it up mm -hmm. to really contemplate is this what i want to do and plan your change because actually if you think about the earth and the environmental crisis we're really in a tight space and I really think that if we don't stop consuming, consuming, consuming mm. so much and we don't like take a look at what we're here for, we're actually destroying the earth. And if we don't, you know, if, it's, if we're busy all the time, mm -hmm. we just slide into the way, you know, we pick up a bagel on the way to work, we're rushing, sure. throw the coffee down, you know. So if you could schedule part of your, even your vacation to just sit there and do journal writing mm -hmm. or to contemplate your way out, 
but also, you know, I think the book is, it's not so much like tricks and tips. We see those like, you know, six ways to sustainable right, living, right, right. which are helpful, but in some ways they're not that deep. And I think it's a deeper process. So it feels like a spiritual process. That it we is have to come to. for some people in the book. And there's, there's people who have a spiritual path, but there's actually some people who are, don't identify that way. So I want it to be available to people on all parts of the spectrum. So the book is full of stories. I actually think we change more when we read stories. Telling real stories instead of just throwing out these, you know, yeah, and you, tricks and, yeah. what you call them, tricks and tips. Yes. I like that. So your book is definitely for somebody who wants, who's saying right now, I just need a break. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, we have to check on into that. Now, you have a book event tonight as well. Yes, I do. 7.30 at Powell's Books on Hawthorne. Yes. Not to be confused right. with Burnside. Uh -huh. um, and for more information, we want you all to head over to our website at katu.com. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you very much for Appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate that. Yeah. And, and your experience and sharing that. Okay. Interesting Thank stuff. You. Okay, we'll be right back. World Japan.